21st century technology has completely changed the way you should be marketing your dealership. This week I'm going to give you one tip that's going to be essential to your growth for the months and years to come. Hi, this is Paul Potratz and welcome to this week's Think Tank Tuesday. Here's a question for you. What has changed in automotive marketing today? Well, I think the answer is what hasn't changed because everything has changed in how you should market your dealership today. But there's one thing that's constant, that's been constant for the last 50 or 100 years and it's awareness. Whichever dealership has more awareness is generally going to sell more cars. They're going to get more ups. So with creating awareness, it makes it easier with digital marketing. So you're probably saying, how am I going to do that? Well, that's through the investment of your people, your staff, everybody in your dealership. I'm talking the sales department, the service writers, the techs, the title clerk. Everybody needs to be involved in your marketing campaign because they can all affect business. So, education. What are you doing for education in your dealership? Are you educating everybody in the dealership of how they can drive traffic? If you do this, you will have everybody in your dealership buying into your marketing strategy. What is your marketing strategy? What is your philosophy? If you went out and surveyed, let's say, 50 people in the market, what would they say about your dealership? Would it be pretty consistent? If not, you need to develop a strategy. You need to develop an education platform that's inside your dealership. So you educate everybody in your dealership as far as what is your core belief? What do you stand for? You're selling Chevys or you're selling VWs, but so is everybody else in the market that's also a VW or a Chevy dealer. So what are you gonna do to separate yourself? So you're probably saying, Paul, what are you talking about using my people in my marketing strategy? Well, let me share with you how we do it as far as our firm with the dealerships and why they're so successful. We bring everybody into the marketing mix. We make sure that we educate everybody in the dealership. That's what makes our firm unique and that's what can make your dealership unique. I want you to develop an education strategy. And what you want to do is everybody in your dealership is going to understand what your philosophy is, what makes your dealership different. I want you to start selling the people in your dealership and stop selling the steel, the vehicles in your dealership, because a Chevy is a Chevy, but the people is what will separate. So let's start with social media, for example. Average individual knows about 230 people. At your dealership, let's say that you have 50 employees, 100 employees, or whatever it is. Let's say 100 for easy math. 100 times 230, do the math. That's 23,000 people that can be talking to individuals at your dealership on a first name basis. I'm not saying that tell everybody to get on Facebook and spend eight hours a day on Facebook, but I'm saying as far as develop an education strategy for your dealership so these individuals can take part in sharing your brand and promoting your dealership. If you do this, and let's just say you only have a 50% buy-in from the individuals that work at your dealership. So do the math. You will create awareness and that's the beauty of the 21st century technology is with digital marketing, social media, you can create more awareness for your dealership at a much lower cost. It used to be, as far as if you wanted to create awareness, you had to do TV advertising, you had to do radio advertising, newspaper ads, direct mail, billboards, the list went on. But now, with education, you can educate everybody in your dealership on a social media policy, a social media strategy, and let them carry the message for you. And then their friends will carry the message, and their friends will carry the message. I know it works because we're doing it in a number of dealerships across the country, and the success has been phenomenal. So the question is, why are you not doing it? Maybe you're kind of confused as far as how do we get started. Well, there's a lot of information out there. The Think Tank Tuesday series, we talk about it. The blogs on our website, we talk about it. We're even traveling the country going city to city with PCG pit stops 
and training people from the dealership how to start this strategy. There's no reason that you don't actually put the training in your dealership. Yeah, there's going to be some cost, but it's a very minimal cost, but the return is going to be huge. So education is key. I want you to commit to education for everybody in your dealership. It's just amazing what happens when you do education for the people in your dealership. You're going to have more loyalty from your employees and your sales and your service will skyrocket. I know it for a fact. So check out the PCG Pit Stop as far as the dates here. Sign up for it. And then if you like anything on as far as our blog site, send it to people that's in your dealership and have them read it. If you like the Think Tank Tuesdays, send it to people in your dealership and have them watch it. Invest in education. That's the first thing you want to do in your dealership and it needs to be part of your marketing strategy. And I guarantee you it's going to be the lowest cost but the highest return that you're ever going to see. That's this week's tip. Be sure and tune in next week when we've got a very interesting topic that you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching Think Tank Tuesday. Tune in next week for more tips in the world of automotive digital marketing from Potratz. To download this podcast or watch previous episodes, search for us on iTunes. To learn more, visit us at ppadv.com.